kinds of clothing. In this lesson, you will learn more about the things you need to consider in dress designing as well as the kinds of clothing. Many of us are particular about the clothes that we wear. And not all styles that are popular in the world of fashion are the best styles. So, we should develop a good taste in the choice of clothes. And we should be able to choose the clothes which are becoming to us and appropriate for different occasions. Sometimes we are thinking on what to wear. So what are the things that we need to consider whenever we are designing a dress? The first one is individuality and personality of the person. We have to consider the personality of the person. If they are conservative, if they do not like the, the revealing dresses. So if we are trying to design a dress, we should consider that. We also need to consider his or her activities. Ano ba yung mga gagawin niya? Okay, so if we are going to design a dress, the kind of clothing, uh, we have to consider the activities. Ano ba yung mga gagawin niya upon wearing that dress? So we have also to consider the socio-economic and cultural background of the person. So, ano ba yung mga kultura nila? Kung bawal ba sa kanila yung mga masyadong revealing dress? Kailangan ba? Uh, hindi pwede yung mga sleeveless, ganon. And also, the socio-economic factors we have to consider. So, the effects of color, lines, shapes, and texture on the clothing is uh, considered also whenever we are designing a dress. For example, yung mga petite, so yung mga hindi ganun kachabi. So they have to wear uh, yung mga pale colors. And also on lines, kailangan kapag medyo slim ka, yung mga horizontal lines sa dress yung pipiliin mo. Okay, so yung mga medyo chubby naman, they have to wear dark colors. So those are the things that we need to consider in dress designing. So, so we have these different kinds of clothing. We have the house dress, working clothes, school dress, sports clothes, casual dress, and party dress. So I will be showing you some photos and you have to identify what kind of clothing is illustrated. I will start with the first one. What do you think is the kind of clothing illustrated here? Great job! So that is, those are house dress. House dress is a kind of clothing which allows freedom of movement and comfort while doing the household chores. So the material should be durable because uh, you are wearing it daily. So it should be washable and can withstand brisk movement. So the best material to be used in household dress is the cotton. And it should be loose and simple but presentable enough. How about this one? Good job. So these are the working clothes. And working clothes should be loose and comfortable for work, which requires a lot of movement. So they, the person wearing it should be comfortable upon doing that work or specific job. And it should be made of light or medium weight materials, durable and easy to launder. So, the style should be simple, free from trimmings, laces, and ruffles. And of course, it should be appropriate to the work that you are doing. How about this one? Very good. 
So these are school dresses. And the usual style in skirt and blouse or jumper and blouse for girls. And then polo and pants or shorts for boys. So the material for the school dress should be medium weight, color fast, easy to launder, comfortable, and durable. So as you can see here, some of the material are tetaron, the cotton, twill, Indian head, Oxford, linen, cloughman, and gabardine for skirts. So these are again the school dress. Try to identify okay, these kinds of clothing. Yes. And obviously, these are sports clothes. And they are designed specifically for the kind of sports being played. Just like on tennis outfit, there is the white shorts with peplum or very short skirt and white t-shirt. And then for volleyball games, the pair of shorts and matching shirt. For the softball outfit, knitted pair of pants and long sleeve shirt jacket and more. So those are the sports clothes. So we are just depending on the activity for the kind of clothing as you can see. How about this one? Very good. So these are the casual dresses. And they are what we call the dress for simple occasion. So usually, we use the denim pants, shirt and blouse, culottes and blouse. And then the material is uh, washable. Now just like the cotton, the chalice, the polyester, the tetheron, denim, and closely knitted cotton. So... Again, the casual dress is what we call the dress for the simple occasion. How about this one for the men? And this for the women? Yes. Of course, these are what we call the party dresses. And these are worn during the special occasions. So as you have observed, these are made of expensive materials like silk, satin, organza, pina cloth, juicy linen, and brami. Dresses are decorated with buttons, laces, ribbons, trimmings, and use interesting as well as contrasting color combination. So party dresses are being worn on the, the special occasions. So we should always remember that that is very much different from the casual dress, which is worn on simple occasions. So we have to always remember that the things that we need to consider in dress designing are the following. We have the individuality and personality of the person, his or her activities, the socio-economic and cultural background, as well as the effects of color line shapes and texture on the kinds of clothing are the house dress the working clothes school dress sports clothes casual dress and the party dress with that thank you very much and i hope you have learned a lot for today